So not too long ago, the Nobel Prizes were given out. And anyone here get one? Fine. Still waiting by the phone? Yeah. Are there any scientists here, by the way, by applause? Yeah. Excellent. What kind of scientist? Neurobiology. Neurobiology. What about you? Biomedical engineering. Biomedical engineering. Who else? Bartender. Bartender? That's... That's, that's more like alchemy. <laughs> Although at least your potions are effective. <laughs> the Nobel Prize is not... Do you know the origin of the Nobel Prize? It was actually funded by Alfred Nobel with the fortune that he made from his invention of dynamite. And the significance of dynamite was that it was the first relatively stable and useful form of nitroglycerin. And other people were also working towards solutions, but he was the first one to survive the R&D phase. <laughs> Thomas Edison, uh, there was also an anniversary not too long ago of, uh, it was the anniversary of the, I guess it was his perfection of the incandescent light bulb. Edison did not invent the incandescent light bulb, but he did perfect it. And the light bulb was such a good idea, it actually became the symbol for having an idea. <laughs> That's impressive. What was your best idea? You know? Is it appearing in thought bubbles over people's heads? Where would we even be for entertainment without Edison? Think about it. You know, the, the phonograph and movie projector and uh, the, the light bulb. So. I like movies. I don't even go. Have, I hardly go to the theaters anymore because movies pretty expensive at this point. Nine fifty for a matinee. You know, I don't want to produce a movie. I just want to watch it once. <laughs> How much for that? I saw a movie with my friend Chuck. I don't like seeing movies with him because he always has to sit in the front row, because he thinks he gets to see the movie before anybody else. <laughs> and you can't even argue with him because he always has the same last word. The speed of light is finite, Brian. <laughs> And it's true, you can't argue with that. It's finite, but it's very fast. Everyone here knows the speed of light, 186,000 miles per second. So if you had a theater, and this is what I told Chuck, if you had a theater 186,000 miles long, you would only see the movie one second before the guy in the last row. And he said, yeah, but you'd hear it a week and a half before him. <laughs> and you probably wouldn't get your popcorn for years. And yes, I did do the math for that joke. <laughs> One of the few comics who strives for mathematical and scientific accuracy. I kind of have to, you guys make me. <laughs>